Okay, Skyler, what are we doing today? We're fixing the washing machine. Yep. What's wrong with the washing machine? The dogs down there are... can't see them. Just they're worn out. Oh, invisible worn out dogs. Okay, so what, what's the first step we need to do? Take this off. Okay, so when you take that cap off, how do we do that? I'll use a screwdriver because it's easier. Just kind of pop it up. Woo! Nice distance. And then there's the lid right here. It's a lid. I take off. Okay. So then, what's down there? Is there a bolt down there you need to undo? Yeah. Okay. What size bolt would that be? Eleven millimeters. Eleven millimeter, or it's technically a seven sixteenths, but my seven sixteenths in this little set doesn't fit in there. So or it doesn't fit on the screwdriver, and I can't find my so extensions. So we're gonna loosen this. Up. I guess we'll take this out. Take the whole thing. What's that called? Oop. I think you need to loosen a little more. It's a long-winded bolt, isn't it? There you go. Oh, Pull right that whole agitator assembly up. Okay, what do we need to do next? This one is straight turn and pull. Pop it out. Pop that off, yep. Just turn this over. Just right over here. Okay. Dog's right here. You could take this off. If I can get it off. There's dogs. You gonna show me how worn out they are? Worn out. Let me see. Yeah, if you look. You can see where the chunk of that's worn off now. Mm -hmm. And there's how many of them? Four. Four. So these are the worn out dogs. But they're not invisible though. They're just worn out. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Oh, we couldn't see them because they were inside. That makes sense. So, and here's the new package of them. We got these from Appliance Tech Inc. They're with ship. I think they cost four cents plus two ninety eight shipping. So it came to a grand total of was two dollars ninety eight cents plus four cents. Can you do that math? What was it? Two dollars and ninety-eight cents shipping, plus four cents for the parts. Okay, wouldn't that be like three dollars two cents? Three dollars and two cents. Let's hope they're the right parts. <laughs> yep. Here's the bag. This says Subco, and they brand new. They're brand new. They look a little different. I think this is a generic brand or. I guess they're all generic. So Whirlpool made the original ones. So here. Before, yeah. after. Here that's, yeah, let's compare those in size. Mm -hmm. Put that there. Here, let's set them both on the dryer there. And turn them both the same direction. So you can see right there. Mm -hmm. That. That's, they're the same with your zoom mural. So they look pretty much the same. The one looks like it came off a 20 year old washer, which it might be. So, right here it's worn off. <laughs> you can see thing. it's worn off and that has how many teeth on that? Three. And how many on the old one? One. <laughs> one. So I guess after you lose a couple teeth you need to get they, replace your dogs. dogs always go go the same way. Okay. Oh, this you put this on it helps 
hold, hold the dogs on. Mm -hmm. And they don't go flying off or something. Mm -hmm. You line these up. bumps up to these the slots. slots. Yeah. And then just snap right down, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And you can shake it around. The dog looks mm -hmm. down. Put this back to the agitator. Wait, there's these. Yeah, there's bumps right here that line up with these. Yeah, there's notches and mm -hmm. slots that need to These notches up. right here. Right there. See, there's two on the left and right, mm -hmm. how you're looking at it right now. And right down in there, mm -hmm. you can... There's the little kind of bumps see. pointing up. Yeah, you get it down. Line it up. It pops right it back pops in. Pops right in, yep. Then you, you put this back pick in. it up from the top and you know it's all snapped together right. And just put it back in there. Yep. Kind of wiggle it in to line it right up on the thingy, majigger. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. you get the bolt back in. Ah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to use it with your fingers, so I'll use this plier. These pliers to put in. There's not much room to work in there, is there? No. And it's got to go right in the hole, or else it. What? What? You get it? Tighten it back up. Do you know any songs to sing while you're tightening it back up? Nice and tight. Nice and tight. So. Then this turns with yep. it. Yeah, if you turn it that way, it turns. What happens when you turn the other way? See, that doesn't. And so, if you if your washing machine's not working right, and what you do, you should be able to turn it uh, clockwise. The top and the bottom doesn't spin, but if you turn it the other way, and the bottom doesn't spin to it, means those dogs are probably broken. But but if it's working properly, that's how it should go. And then, then we'll put the lid. Yeah, I think they call that a dust cover. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Keep the dust out of there. Just I think it's probably it. more to keep water out of there. I think push that, back that in that there. And then you put the lid back right on. Up. It doesn't matter where it goes, it just pops on. Pops on, yeah. Okay. Works. And then we're done. So any other tips to for someone that needs to fix this? Any other tips to remember when starting to do this? Can you think of any any other tips to help you do this? Don't lose the new dogs. Yeah, don't lose your new dogs. And if you're doing it on the washer, keep the lid. When you yeah. like when you're disattaching the dogs, yeah. do not when if you're doing it on the washer, put the lid down. Yeah, that way you have a work area and, and then you don't lose your out. little pieces. Mm -hmm. Well thank you, Skyler. Now Video vlog around. Woohoo! And I can't stop it. But So, thank you! Oh, we did it. Glad you take it off.